Hello, beautiful beings. Well, I believe there's only one thing that I really want to say, and that is that I just turned back on my comment section under my videos because I realized, even though it did bring me relief to have that, you know, to take that action to distance myself from the vibe of those creepy men, I was just like, no, I'm not going to give them the power to to have me close that channel. So I turned it back on and if they continue to message me, I'll just block them. Very, very easy. Ancients, is there anything else that we want to mention right now? I got told there are always indicators, uh, out, outward manifestations of how my vibe is doing, where my vibration is. Is it still really high? Is it really good? Or is something clogging it up a bit? Well, yesterday I had two, two separate occasions. I had two people angrily tell me to slow down. One, I was going about 22 miles an hour on a dirt road. I was supposed to be going 20. The second was an officer that had pulled somebody over on the highway, and there was a bunch of cars, you know, and people were just driving around. You know, even though he was pulled way off the side of the road, we, we, we go in the opposite lane just in case. But he was headed back to his car and singled me out, and he was just like, slow it the F down, and yelled at me, and I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> and and this morning I said, Mom, I told her about the, the two occasions, and I said, I, and right when I asked the question, there's just something so magical about asking questions, I said, I wonder what's up with two people angrily telling me to slow down yesterday. And right away the, que the answer came in and they said, the ancient said, because you're working way too hard, you need to slow down. It's true. It's absolutely true. I've been working every single day, even on my days off. I didn't yesterday. I absolutely hit a wall and said I, she wanted me to work, you know, and it's fine. I don't mind that she keeps, you know, she asks me if I'll work uh, more than six days a week. I don't mind that at all. If I feel like I can handle it, I would do it. But, you know, I can just keep going forever. I can do a marathon if I just keep taking care of myself. So yesterday, those two people telling me to slow down, that was an indicator. They're showing me like the, you know, the lights that come on on our dashboard that tell us we need to check the oil or whatever. We need to pay attention to those. When the brakes barely start squealing or squeaking or whatever, that's when a person needs to go get their brakes checked. Not when they're freaking grinding and... <laughs> So I, I really pay attention. I've been pay atten paying attention to signs for an incredibly long time, for as long as I can remember. So, ancients, is there anything else? There was one really awesome thing I was, that popped in today, a really amazing way to help quiet the mind. All of these ways to help quiet the mind are, they are... They help a they help a being wake up. Really, that's what all this work is about: is 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 coming back into focus with our own true nature. And and the more that we can shed off, the more of the old useless conditioning, uh, the more of that that can shed off, the more the more we are ourselves. And and the least resistance there is in, in our bodies and, you know, in our lives and, and, and then waking up happens. You know, it's, it's this, it can be a gradual process to wake up or it's in times of absolute desperation. I, that's when I woke up was, was I was absolutely 100% desperate, totally claustrophobic in my body, no more ideas at all about how to, um, soothe my mind. Yeah. So that's when Muji came to me. So there isn't just one set way to wake up. And, you know, I'm sure I'm going to repeat these things many, many times over the next 50 years. 
because uh, that's how long I have left on the planet, is 50 years. I'm going to live to be 105. My grandmother told me that when she dropped her physical form when I was five years old. She came into my room and told me that. And Anyway, so... So... What will I be doing for the next 50 years? <laughs> It's this, it's this, um, well, it's Sot Song. It's Sot Song. Did I, have I told you that there's magic in Sot Song? <laughs> Ancients, is there anything else I need to say? I kind of feel like I just forgot what I was saying, but it's okay. You know, my, my mind labels it as forgetting, but it can just be done. It's like this. This is what happens in, in, in my mind. When I'm talking... There's really nothing going on except um, there are pictures that go along with with thinking and talking. There are pictures that come, and they're coming in a stream. I'm not thinking about what I'm saying at all, but then all of a sudden, there's no pictures. There's no pictures of words either. I'm not seeing any words. I'm not seeing pictures. It's just there's nothing. It's just... <sighs> Oh, unless my mind labels it as forgetting something like that. But I've been practicing for a long time now. And if you've been with me at all, I, I, I believe that you've been able to see the progression like I have. It used to really, really bother me when I was making videos and, and it would just, the thoughts would just be gone, gone. And there's no searching for them anymore. There's no trying to remember anymore. My mind does not work like it used to. Oh, it's in its natural state more and more every single day more and more. It's just so divine. I feel just so incredibly blessed So ancients is there anything else we want to say? Balance balance in everything and and when a when a person when I when the practice is really going from person to presence person to presence person to presence person to presence it's this beautiful practice and after a while it's it's not even a practice anymore because we are presence but we have been in the habit of of feeling like we're the person so it's the most beautiful work it really is. It can be really hideously excruciating too, but but life already feels hideously excruciating at times. Why not ha have that pain be productive growing pains back to who you already are? And you know what that means also? I mean, it's just so beautiful, right? <laughs> And what that work will do, and there's so much fear in it too. Fear comes up because the, the person that we always thought we were, that person feels like it's dying because all those thoughts are dying off. But once a, once a person, you know, wakes up and, and loves that silence more than thinking, we never ever have to come back to the planet unconscious again. Once awake, always awake. <sighs> Love you so much. Uh, yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section if you, there's something you'd like to talk about. Something that you would like to ask the ancients and, and I. And uh, you can ask a, us a question and, and we will see what answer blooms. Sotsong with Mama G at gmail.com. Love you so much. <laughs>